What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to basically bake your high poly to your low poly in Substance Painter. So we're basically going to take this low poly and get the detail from this high poly to be baked down onto it. If I zoom in you can see the actual little details we're going to be getting. Quite, quite, a, quite a lot of detail we're going to be putting onto it. Now, get into your Substance, if I want to, select your low poly here. Okay, under texture set settings, go bake. Set this to, I don't know, maybe three. Um, you, this is where you're going to add your actual mesh. So we want the high poly one right here. Just make sure you've got them labeled very nicely so you don't mess up. Now, I'm going to close it quick and just show you what we've got. So I have very close detail here. So I have this bit here. Let's turn down. Is this I can show you. I have this part here pretty close to this surface and I have this part wrapped around that's very close to the surface of something else which means I'm going to probably want to keep this information here very low I'll explain that in just a second so let me reselect this that's like I said about three so what this does is it's basically going to tell you um, how far away it's going to bake these normals so if you had something really really dug into your asset you're going to need um, these pretty relatively high to pick up that information because it's dug in really far or if it's protruding really far but if it's all very sort of it's only going a little and coming out um a little you don't need this information very high because it doesn't need to pick up too much so i'm going to keep it very very low and when i say very very low i mean a quarter of what it starts on if i can write it correctly there you go because i'm hoping if i do this i won't have these bits here or sort of bleeding their detail onto the other assets and then I'm just going to click bake and now it's going to take a while so I'll just skip to the end for you guys and I won't make you wait for it in the video all right so now that after that's baked we seem to have all the information baked on that's looking pretty good and that is how you do a high to low bake for your mesh again if i were to look at this so we've got some information right here that still come on so we can reduce that value a little bit to maybe fix that but other than that that's come through pretty good and again if we take it off you can see where the detail is really being added so, add. but yeah that is how you do a high to low poly bake i hope some of you may have uh, may need to use this in the future and I hope it helped a couple of you out. Have a good one guys.